Artificial rivers, a testament to human ingenuity and a necessity driven by increasing water scarcity and expanding human populations, have reshaped landscapes and societies. These colossal engineering feats have provided life-sustaining water to arid regions, transforming agriculture and fueling economic growth. While the benefits of such projects are undeniable, they also raise concerns about their environmental impacts, social and political implications. But which are the four greatest and most controversial artificial rivers under construction worldwide? Stay with us till the end to find out. This is Megalith. Please subscribe and never miss an update on the best mega projects. The Great Man-Made River, or GMMR, is a testament to human ingenuity and a marvel of modern engineering. This colossal project involved drilling thousands of deep wells into the Nubian sandstone aquifer, one of the world's largest fossil water reserves. The extracted water is then pumped through a vast network of pipelines traversing hundreds of kilometers of desert terrain to the arid coastal cities of Libya. This ambitious project has transformed Libya's desert landscape, enabling sustainable agriculture and urban development. By tapping into ancient water sources, the GMMR has secured a vital lifeline for a nation grappling with water scarcity. To overcome the immense challenges posed by the harsh desert environment, engineers employed advanced techniques such as directional drilling, allowing for the precise targeting of water-bearing formations. Special pipeline coatings also ensure minimal water loss through evaporation and seepage. Additionally, sophisticated pumping stations were constructed to maintain adequate water pressure and flow rates along the pipeline network. The GMMR's impact on Libya's water security and agricultural development is profound. By providing a reliable source of fresh water to arid regions, the project has enabled sustainable agriculture, urban development, and industrial growth. However, the long-term sustainability of the GMMR remains a subject of debate, as the ancient aquifer is a finite resource requiring careful water management and conservation measures that will be essential to the project's longevity. China's South to North Water Diversion Project is one of the most ambitious water diversion projects in history. It aims to alleviate water shortages in northern China by transferring water from the Yangtze River Basin in the south to the Yellow River Basin in the north. This massive undertaking aims to alleviate water scarcity in northern China by transferring water from the water-rich south to the arid north and involves a complex network of canals, tunnels, and pumps spanning thousands of kilometers. The project has far-reaching implications, impacting everything from agriculture to industrial production and urban development. The project involves three main routes, the eastern, central, and western routes, each with its own unique engineering challenges. The eastern route primarily utilizes existing waterways, such as the Grand Canal, to transport water. However, significant upgrades and expansions were necessary to increase the canal's capacity and efficiency, including dredging, widening, and deepening channels. The central route, on the other hand, involves the construction of a complex network of tunnels, aqueducts, and pumping stations to transport water over mountainous terrain. This route poses significant engineering challenges, including the need to overcome steep gradients and seismic activity. Danjiangku Reservoir is the massive primary water source for the central route. This reservoir required the relocation of hundreds of thousands of people and the construction of complex hydraulic structures to control water flow. The western route is the most ambitious and technically challenging of the three routes. It involves diverting water from the Yangtze River Basin to the arid northwest region of China. This route requires the construction of long-distance pipelines, tunnels, and reservoirs, often in remote and harsh environments. The project has faced numerous technical hurdles, including the need to drill through mountains, construct dams and seismic zones, and manage water quality in arid conditions. The South to North Water Diversion Project is a testament to China's engineering power as its population grows, but it raises enormous concerns about its environmental impact, social displacement, and the long-term sustainability of water sources. The Colorado River Aqueduct is a vital lifeline for Southern California, supplying water to millions of people in one of the driest regions in the United States. It diverts water from the Colorado River, a major river in the southwestern United States, to Los Angeles and other cities. The aqueduct is a complex system of canals, tunnels, and pumping stations that traverses challenging terrain, including mountains and deserts. Constructed between 1933 and 1941, it was, at the time, the largest water supply line in the United States. 
The aqueduct begins at the Parker Dam, southeast of Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and terminates at Lake Matthews in western Riverside County, California. Conceived by William Mulholland and designed by Frank E. Weymouth, it was also the largest public works project in Southern California during the Great Depression. The project employs 30,000 people over an eight-year period and as many as 10,000 at one time. The aqueduct's design incorporates a series of pumping plants to elevate water over significant elevation changes. The Parker Dam Power Plant, for instance, is a massive concrete arch gravity dam that impounds the Colorado River and creates Lake Havasu, generating electricity to power the pumps that lift water over the Colorado River. The construction of the dam required the diversion of the river flow and the excavation of millions of cubic yards of rock and soil. Additionally, the aqueduct includes numerous tunnels, siphons, and canals to navigate through mountains and valleys. Engineers had to contend with extreme temperatures, arid conditions, and remote locations. To overcome these challenges, they developed pioneering techniques for transporting materials, constructing tunnels, and laying pipelines. The Colorado River Aqueduct stands as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of human engineering. This massive megastructure, stretching over 242 miles, has transformed Southern California from a semi-arid region into a thriving metropolis. The Kachi Canal is an impressive feat of engineering, with a maximum flow of 6,000 cubic feet per second. This means that, in just one hour, it transports enough water to fill 272 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The purpose of the canal is to supply water to irrigate 73,000 acres of barren or partially cultivable land in Balochistan, allowing agriculture to flourish where it was previously impossible. The Kachi Canal begins at the Townsa Dam on the Indus River, which is one of Pakistan's main sources of water. The canal was designed in three phases. In the first phase, a 399-kilometer main canal was constructed, including 305 kilometers in Punjabi and 94 kilometers in Balochistan. In addition to the main canal, a network of irrigation canals extends for 1,500 kilometers, ensuring that water reaches all agricultural fields in the region. Building a 50-kilometer irrigation canal in a desert region is no easy task. Workers brave the scorching heat as they operate heavy machinery to excavate and prepare the canal bed. It's necessary to build temporary roads to facilitate the movement of construction equipment. The channel bed is trapezoid-shaped, with inclined side walls to provide landslides and ensure the stability of the structure. When the Kachi Canal is fully completed, it'll become Pakistan's largest irrigation road. Around 2 million people will see an improvement in their lives thanks to continuous and reliable access to water. In addition to bringing water, the canal will also boost the region's economic and social development, allowing residents to cultivate their lands and improve their conditions of life. Pakistan is about to inaugurate one of the largest irrigation projects in its history, demonstrating that with vision and effort, it is possible to overcome even the most difficult challenges. These four artificial aquifers are an inspiring example of how human ingenuity and engineering can help shape the natural world to our needs, bringing life and prosperity to previously arid regions. These massive engineering feats have transformed landscapes, economies, and societies. This is Megalith. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more exciting content on the world's greatest mega projects.